this one is uh, to see inbound deliveries in EWM. A uh, PRDI is a transaction, and every transaction in EWM it starts with the slash um, ESEWM uh, slash PR means slash slash ESEWM majority of the SAP transaction EWM transactions, and the slash and you know that new screen. So this one you always make sure that you know you check this one warehouse number, and uh, you are a disposal party. You know uh, that's where you need to. Uh, check all the time whether you are in the, this one but otherwise you know at the header level you can always see that header level okay and if you don't know anything just we can run through that like you know. don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos we have any deliveries is there and uh, check that and okay. so i think the, we have one delivery right so we know that uh, uh, okay this is a like we is a header level, and we can switch always uh, the list former or something like that. And even item level, always we can switch over this one. Okay. And the header level we discussed them, right? So how the system is identifying this one. See, if you look at that, there is a document number, there is a document category, document category, document type. This is a EWM side, document category, any inbound deliveries. It start document category the PDI, okay. No matter it is uh, that is a very a header level. You can say PDI is the document category, okay. Under that is the document type is inbound delivery, okay. Here we can always modify this document type to fit the your business requirement. Assume that you know that typical inbound delivery what generally vendor uh, vendor stock you know because we when we request something we we raise a purchase order and we request from the vendor. Typically, that's you know we receive it. And the, what about other inbound delivery we have? Customer returns is also one kind of inbound delivery. For example, if you deliver to the customer, customer notice that there is a damage or some issue happened, then he will send it back to us again our warehouse. So customer returns is also part of inbound uh, delivery only. Say document category, the PDI is a very high level. Yes, we can still use a PDI, but how do I distinguish a uh, document type? Like whether it is a gender, simple inbound delivery or whatever it is, inbound delivery. INB, I can use it. Same thing, I can use some other name, INB, customer, INBC, or like INC. Somewhere, you know, I can distinguish deliveries. And also stock transfer order also. Sometime, you know, if, if you receive a, a stock from a one plant to another plant, that is also possibilities there. So uh, typically, these are the things, you know, from the, when you raise the vendor and, but you can always, you know, you, you can play around with this document type, you know, so you can create how many document types you want based on the business requirement. But as of now, this is a standard one document type inbound delivery. We are going to use it. Okay. And you see, these are the uh, status. You see, this is a goods receipt unloading, put away, these are the activities. And if any, any little ways of warehouse order and some of things uh, like warehouse door and who has created any in quote terms transportation related. Just to make sure that to expose all these parameters. Okay. And also we have a, like, you know, um, sorry, first before header level, you can see that, you know, if you want to reject the delivery, I can always reject from here. Okay. To reject the inbound delivery. <clears throat> if you, uh, I can always goods receive saying that I received the goods. Goods received means you are saying that you're confirming saying that I have received the products, I have received the handling units. So by saving this document, saying that you have received the goods, that is called goods received. If you don't want this delivery, you can always reject at the header level. Okay. This one. And also we have item level, you know, item, uh, item level, what are the information we can see? So since we have only one product, that's where we can see one product. See item 10, that is a standard one. And as a product and how many quantity. And also like, you know, we, we can come up with movement, movement data. Okay, this one I said, how the system is identifying the warehouse process type. Okay, and uh, so this is the main warehouse process type. See one main warehouse process type is required for you. Okay, to identify the what kind of delivery it is okay and uh, there is a relation you know how you are going to map the documents so there is a relation is there 
like you know your um, your warehouse there is a relation your warehouse and your document type and your process type there is a relation is there so you need to establish the relation such a way that the main warehouse process type is identified whether it is a inbound delivery whether it is a complex inbound delivery or customer returns or stock trans truck transfer order any whatever deliveries you have you need a one wpt main wpt okay that's what we right last time we discussed the wpt wherever we need even unloading we need one wpt even moving from staging area to deconsolidation one wpt is there from there if you want to go final bins then we don't need because there is a put away strategies we place it so that system will identify that which product should go to respective bins and the same thing like you know if you use the outbound process you know you, it starts from the picking the deliveries even picking activity there is a stock removal strategies is in place so you don't need wpt but after that time right even packing unpacking we need one pair wpt there and after that from moving to the staging area means outbound staging area you need one uh, warehouse process type there and the loading also you need one warehouse process type so we have discussed wpt wherever we need okay we will show in warehouse once again don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos so we will see that what is a warehouse process type mean is is a simple term is a movement data okay movement type you know in a in a simple warehouse or like you know mm side we talk about warehouse movement type right so instead of calling as a movement type you know that 101 is a movement type in a, in a in a mm side goods receiving same same as 201 is a movement type is a goods issue similarly we have here is a warehouse process type in terms of ewm we call as a warehouse process type if is a s4 side people will call as a movement type okay there is a linkage is there definitely there is a linkage between the s4 movement types to the ewm movement types but this already inbuilt one so we need not worry much about that there is inbuilt relation for unless you have a specific business requirement then you can always um, Uh, create a custom movement types in s4 system and the same that custom movement type you can always link with the ewm warehouse process type okay but uh, as of as for my experience we don't need unless you know business demands for that but existing is a more than enough okay as i said is already inbuilt one already is developed as a part of ewm arc structure they have already included everything so you don't need to do anything like you know linkage in movement types from s4 to ewm okay there is already in built okay this how we will see what is mean warehouse process type how we can create a warehouse process type what are the um, uh, settings we need to do for that and as soon as you see this one you know a system will as soon as you create a inbound delivery in s4 system it distributes automatically wp is the wpt is identified and you know the delivery document types everything and also there is a goods movement bin see this one is a problem as of now because we have not at all created where this product should go to at the end of the day when you create a warehouse task to, uh, to to receive this product we have not at all created any staging area bins as of now we have not done any master data right so that's the reason nothing is identifying means uh, goods movement bin nothing because we have not done anything and uh, once you set up configuration you know so system will identify where this product supposed to reach that is called goods movement bin generally a uh, goods movement bin is a staging bin only where you receive the product okay that is a like you know opposite to the door okay just opposite to the door I mean to within the warehouse i'm not talking about the dock area within the warehouse and uh, see the, you know that what kind of stock type system knows what kind of stock type who is the owner you know that is a uh, custodian is a owner okay. and also like you know status status and all the things shipping condition see whether packing status even though we receive the inbound sometime is already packing happened okay when you receive it majority is a packed products only means that the handling units only hus only 
Sometime you may not receive handling unit. So what you have to do is you have to pack before unloading only you have to pack. Then that time you can say packing status. And the goods receipt means as soon as you unload it, then goods receipt happens automatically. There is no special like you can do manually and you can always do uh, like, you know, system automatically creates, I mean, it happens in built when it's like, you know, goods receipt will happen automatically as soon as you unload the products. Like unloading status, it's not started, put away status not started, and the warehouse activity not started. And also we have like under delivery, over delivery, tolerances. If you set up while creating a purchase order, if you set anything like under delivery, over delivery, or parcel is allowed or not, always, you know, uh, it comes from the, uh, from the purchase order, from the purchase inbound delivery, same information, it will, it will appear here only. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So this is a, a typical, like, you know, how um, uh, PR day we can see that. Can I see uh, in another way around where I can see um, this information other than PRD, where I can see that, okay? I can see another ways I can always see the um, deliveries. This is the monitor, SEWM MON. Okay, monitor is a central uh, um, um, is a warehouse monitor where you can track all deliveries, no matter it is whether it's outbound deliveries or inbound deliveries or physical inventory or like document a warehouse task, warehouse orders, handling units, posting changes, truck transfer, and also under stock view, always you can see how much stock we have in the bin level. Okay, and also resource.